Hi, my name is Manny and I'm going to be doing my hand analysis on opening a bottle. I'm going to start off by explaining the position of my right arm. At the humeral ulnar and humeral radial joint, they're, they're being flexed. My forearm is a neutral. At the proximal and distal radial ulnar joint, fibrocal radialis. And at the radial carpal joint, at the radial carpal joint, is being extended by extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis, and extensor carpi ulnaris. Moving down to the hand, my thumb is in palmar abduction. My CMC joint is being abducted by abductor pollicis longus. My MCP joint is being abducted by abductor pollicis brevis. And my IP joint of the thumb is being extended by extensor pollicis longus. Moving to the MCP of digits two to five, they're being extended by extensor G torum. My PIP and DIP are being extended from digits two to five by my lumbricals. So now I'm gonna be grasping the bottle. As you can see, my radial carpal joint remains in extension. But now my thumb is in Palmer adduction. My CMC joint is adducting by adductor pollicis. My FCP joint is being flexed by flexor pollicis brevis. And my IP joint is, is being flexed by flexor pollicis longus. As you can see, I also have some opposition, which is my opponent's pollicis at the CMC joint. Going around, you can see that the MCP joints from digit two to five are being flexed by my lumbricals. My PIP joints two to, of digits two to five are being flexed by my FDS. And my DIPs are being flexed by FDP of digits two to five. So now I'm going to be using this hand to stabilize and I'm going to be using my other hand to open up the cap. So starting from this position, my humeral ulnar humeral radial joints are being, are being flexed. My forearm is in pronation at the proximal and distal radial ulnar joint by the muscle pronator teres and pronator quadratus. At the radial carpal joint, I have extensor carpi onaris, extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis, extending the radial carpal joints. I also have some radial deviation. At the CMC joint, I have adduction from adductor pollicis. At the MCP joint, I have some flexion from flexor pollicis brevis. And at the IP joint, I have some flexion from flexor pollicis longus. My MCP of digits two to five are being flexed by my lumbricals. My PIP are being flexed of digits two to five by my FDS. And my PIP are being flexed by my FDP of digit two to five. So now I'm gonna twist the cap and my radial carpal joint goes into flexion by the muscle flexor carpi radialis and flexor carpi onaris. And I also have some ulnar deviation.